Rocket League just announced a pretty huge update and we're going to be going through all of the secret things like secret items shown in the trailer and stuff like that as well as the nitty gritty details like how we are not only getting one crate but two crates. This video was brought to you guys by Gameflip, the cheapest place to get gift cards and memberships for Xbox Live, PSN, Steam, and even Amazon and more. Like recently, I bought a year of Xbox Live for $17 when it's usually $60. So definitely check it out through the link in the description, I really recommend it. Alright guys, so yeah, Rocket League just announced a pretty huge update and I know I'm a little bit late on the general announcement of it. So instead of like just going through the details of it, but on top of that, we're going to be mainly going through like secret items found in the trailer. Like if we pause the trailer at certain frames and like zoom in, you know, enhance the image right there. We can find some secret items, try and see what's coming out in this brand new crate that is coming, but there's just a ton of fun stuff. So we're going to be having a ton of fun with it. Maybe talk a little bit about my opinions on the update in general because there are some things I want to Say, not quite sure when I want to say them but yeah guys as always if you enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button down below it seriously does help me out a ton seeing how much you guys appreciate the video and also leave a comment on what rank you guys are at currently in competitive because obviously the competitive season is ending and the brand new one season 8 is starting so yeah guys without further ado let's jump into it with the first thing I want to talk about and that is just like the brand new update in general when is it coming out if you guys weren't 100% sure the update is coming out on May 29th 29th indeed that is actually like really late <laughs> or not necessarily we knew it was coming at the end of may we just weren't exactly sure when so may 29th is a tuesday and probably gonna come out um i'm not 100 sure i don't want to say like an exact time because obviously i don't know yet but i would expect it to be like maybe two to four est that probably makes sense that's about when the updates come out sometimes it's later i really don't know why they decide to do different things it makes no sense to me but yeah may 29th is the official date that it's coming out and obviously we get a ton of awesome stuff with that so real quick just covering the stuff that some of you probably already know about a little bit uh the brand new map so the brand new map is called salty shores obviously you guys have seen it but i mean look at like some of the details in the background like have you seen the giant volleyball type thing over here on the left all of the eggs in the stands have like sunglasses on as well as uh the roller coaster in the background actually they moves around you can see that in the trailer a little bit i'm not gonna play the videos but yeah the roller coaster does move as we got to see in the trailer and uh you also got like a crazy pier back here like you know usual type pier when you go to the beach ton of detail on this map and honestly this has to be inspired by the volleyball map mod if it's not inspired by that i'm gonna be be freaking i don't know guys i just there's no way that this is not inspired by that mod so they got to give that guy some credit because this is pretty much the exact looking map just with some more details in the background so yeah that itself is pretty cool still wish we would get a new game mode maybe instead of a map i don't know why they're putting so much work into like a map when they could be doing a game mode but i, I don't know yet so we'll have to see if that's pretty cool but as for the crates the first of the two that we are getting is obviously called the impact crate and what exactly is going to be in this well we're not 100% sure yet. Obviously, I'm going to show you some items that are from the trailer that might be in it, but yeah, as of right now, we don't know like a ton of the stuff that is in it. I do know that there's probably going to be a mystery decal and a new goal explosion. Probably not more than that. Probably just one goal explosion, one mystery decal. That's what happened in the previous crate when we got Dissolver and uh, I think Atomizer. So I don't think they're going to change from that type of thing. Hopefully, we could maybe get two uh, mystery decals. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, the impact crate does for sure come with the brand new twin. Windsor car, which if you didn't know, is obviously the Octane hitbox. I don't know why it wouldn't be the Octane hitbox, but I mean, it's a pretty cool car. It does look a ton like the Octane. Like, seriously, it's maybe a little bit too close considering we already have the Octane ZSR, which is basically the upgraded version of the Octane. This one looks like the dune buggy version of the octane but does look really really close to the original i'll be completely honest but also what's kind of funny about that is that it seems to be like the car that was on the old rocket league logo because the old logo didn't actually have uh, a spoiler on whatever car was actually on it we thought it was the octane but who knows it could have actually been this car right here so yeah pretty cool there and also with that the painted versions and i can confirm this but the painted parts of this car are actually like the bronze type parts that you can see in the image so i Obviously, that means like the roll cage, the uh, bar in the front, the little bronzish type pieces uh, under the car itself. All of those things are going to be the ones that come painted, and there is maybe a possibility that those could be a little bit shiny. But either way, it should be pretty cool seeing those, you know, white parts of the car because that is a pretty unique way of doing it. And it does for sure have twin boosters, which is a pretty important thing. But along with that, there's also something that a lot of people might not have caught, and that is that there is a brand new event coming. This is called the Beach Blast event, and it's not coming out 
out right away on May 29th. It'll be a couple more weeks, or actually it says June 11th. Yeah, a couple more weeks after the official date on May 29th. But we will be getting the Beach Blast event. So what does that mean? We're essentially getting two crates, guys. And then the next one is going to be for the um, event, obviously. So yeah, guys, expect a brand new item shop, brand new decryptors to get, as well as like, uh, you know, just crazy things in general. Some new form of currency and uh, new goal explosions, stuff like that. A ton of cool stuff that's going to be pretty interesting to see exactly what is in it. And in fact, we actually got to see some of the items early and I'll show you that in just a sec here. But yeah, a new event, a new crate, a new store, definitely some super cool stuff coming up soon. Now after that, I'm trying to think of other things. Oh yeah, season rewards are coming out. If you didn't see them, they're like banners and goal explosions, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy and a little bit weird, but I don't want to go through all of that in this video right here. But yeah, if you haven't gotten to that next rank yet, definitely grind soon you're only gonna have about five ish days to do so but you do want to get it done soon so that you can get your next rewards but anyways guys let's move on into the secret items that i was able to find in the trailer there's definitely a good amount not as many as like previous trailers but still gives us some funny items to look at and you guys are gonna have to help me guess whether or not these are coming in the brand new impact crate or they're coming in the one that is coming for the summer event gonna be a ton of fun so first of all before we even get into the other items let's talk about the most obvious one that you guys have seen the brand new goal explosion as you guys can see it is a bunch of beach balls that explode out from the net after you score a goal and honestly it's a it's a pretty good one i like this one i think it's funny i think it's a cool uh, themed one around the beach event and stuff like that but along with that you also have like a bit of confetti in there as well but you've also got like these weird flying lights that come out of it it's a very colorful goal explosion i can say that for sure and again definitely fits in with the theme of this salty shores map however do you guys know which crate this is going to be in. I know a lot of people were assuming it would probably be in the impact crate, but I don't believe that's true. This is more than likely going to be in the summer event crate that is coming out after the impact crate. So with that being said, we still don't know for sure what goal explosion is going to be in the impact crate. And I'll come back to that in just a second, but yeah, this goal explosion will for sure be in the summer crate, or I guess I can't say like for sure, but more than likely, why wouldn't it be in the summer event crate? Especially like with all the previous ones we've had, previous events I mean, we've had uh, themed goal explosions around the event itself. But as for the impact crate and its black markets, I wasn't really able to figure out uh, if there's a brand new black market on any of the cars that were shown in the trailer or a goal explosion. So I'm thinking they're keeping that a little bit secret, but for sure, guys, we're going to be getting a new black market uh, mystery decal and a goal explosion more than likely, similar to the last crate that we got. I don't see why they would change it up. And since people love mystery decals and they're still doing uh, goal explosions, they're probably more than likely going to stick with that. But along with that, let's Let's move on into some of the items we've got some brand new wheels maybe some new boosts and actually speaking of a boost let's start off with that one because i think this one probably might be in the impact crate i'm not 100 sure and also i guess i'm not 100 sure if it's brand new but this boost right here i can't quite tell to me it looks like a water stream boost which would make sense for it being in the summer event crate but it could be uh one of the previous boosts we've had just painted it's hard to tell honestly i don't know like exactly what every single boost looks like painted so i'm not 100 sure if this one is new or not we have so many boosts in the game it is kind of getting a little bit hard to figure out which is which but it does look new to me and since it does look kind of waterish it could be new so i'm not going to say whether or not it is new or if it isn't but i'll let you guys form your opinions and comment down below if it is indeed new and also with that the painted version of the twins are right here in cobalt it's pretty cool there again it lets you see uh what exactly this car looks like in the painted variants you can see it does for sure change the roll cage maybe a little bit on the booster on the back and definitely under it but it's pretty cool and also it has one of the custom decals that is going to be coming on the car itself pretty interesting stuff right there but let's move on to another picture and this one right here actually shows a few items from the spring event again like probably ones coming in the shop so this first car right here but as you can see it's got like a canoe on the top for a brand new topper it's got like a, a bubble wand you know like you would blow bubbles out of it's got that thing as an antenna which is pretty funny right there and also it seems to have maybe a new boost i can't 100 tell you can kind of see it back here it's so far away that i can't really connect whether or not it is a brand new boost but it does look pretty interesting and looks maybe like it could be brand new i'm not sure but yeah those items are definitely coming in the summer shop and also there's a brand new decal i don't believe it's animated a little bit disappointing that could actually be a pretty pretty cool animated decal if they did decide to go that way but it seems like the bubbles stay in place so i don't believe it is animated after that you've got this car over here that actually has some brand new wheels but first of all let's talk about the little 
pineapple topper. I mean, come on. Look at that guy. Just, oh, what a classic. <laughs> that is a crazy looking topper. I don't use toppers, but I mean, I, I still find them enjoyable to look at. Along with that, you've got a brand new uh, decal for the breakout. If you're into that type of thing, you've also got a brand new antenna, which I can't quite tell what it is. Kind of looks like a marshmallow, but it's, yeah, it's hard to figure out what exactly that looks like. And you do also have a brand new boost that is for sure like a water bubbly type boost. So I don't know if that's going to be in the impact crate or the summer crate. It would make sense to be in the summer crate, but um, again, not 100% sure there. But still, that boost looks pretty cool, and also you can for sure see some brand new wheels right here. Now, this isn't a very good image, but you can tell that they have a very unique tread, but we do actually have a better look at these wheels, and this is some this is some weird stuff right here. As you can see in this image, they are uh, the Sovereign Pro wheels, but in a different color. That's right, they took the model of the Sovereign Pros and just, you know, painted it pink. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure... <laughs> <laughs> what these are going to be like. Are they going to be in the crates? Are you going to be able to get them from the shop? I mean, if they come painted in like Cobalt, isn't that basically Sovereign Pros? But they are for sure look very, very close to the Sovereign Pros. There might be a few slight differences, but they look very, very similar. That is for sure. That is a little bit sad for people that went to RLCS and got the Sovereign Pros. Now, after that, you have this other car on the left, which you can see has a uh, sandcastle topper, which looks pretty interesting right there. No special antenna, so I'm figuring there's only two antennas in the brand new shop and also you've got another look at that water type boost on the back and a decal that looks pretty weird again i don't think it's animated like the other ones because it appears to stand still when i was like looking through the trailer but it's a weird looking decal that it could possibly be animated it looks sort of like a glitchy decal but i'm not 100 sure along with that you can see right here that there's a wheel on it that i can't quite tell if it's a brand new wheel i think it is i don't know if we've had this tread with like a glowing line down the center i think we might have but since i can't really see the side of the wheel i can't 100 tell for for sure if it is brand new or not. I'm thinking it would be, but again, it's it's really hard to tell from this picture. This trailer did not show a very good view of it, so we're gonna have to try and like guess whether or not it is indeed new. But yeah, guys, that is basically all the things I was able to find in terms of the items, so I'm not a ton for the impact crate actually, so we might see more of that coming up. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and check out some of my previous videos, such as a fun one on the left, a fun one on the right, a ton of awesome stuff that I'm sure you guys will enjoy, so uh, check Check it out. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.